Hi, hi, it's Sunday morning and I've got to go to the shops in a minute and it's cold, it's freezing out. All the cars are all um, iced over, so it's, um, I'm going to have to wrap up I think. So it's Lucy on the floor, hang on. Bang on cue, she stretches because she knows I'm talking about her. Oops, oops. You alright Lucy? Hello, good girl. There you go. I was going to pick her up before, but I think it's a bit cruel because she's quite content in front of the fire. And most of you have seen my mum and dad's memorial. The candles that came yesterday. And that's the, the crown rose. Just um, It's just there until I use these um, vases these candle vases as flower vases. So I'm going to go to the co-op. Um, I want to get the flowers today ready to put on my mum and dad's grave tomorrow for my mum's third anniversary. I went there the other day and I took off the reeds off the grave and um, some dead flowers that were there so the grave will be ready for the family to put flowers on for my mum. So. Mum and Dad, it's the, their grave together, isn't it? But it's Mum's anniversary. And she's always been up, always. Ever since my sister bought them. My mum had passed away in the January and I think it was the following October that in that same year my sister, one of my sisters bought me this, got the cushion made with my mum's photo on and got that. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember whose daughter you are and straighten your crown. And that applies to anyone really. If you've had or got strong parents, um who always looked out for you and um, yeah you want to be like them don't you you want to be strong and and yeah it's okay not to be okay um, but yeah everyone has the moment don't they but I'm not gonna be sad um, Mum wouldn't want that so tomorrow's her anniversary and I will be doing a little um, tribute for me mum so anyway I'm gonna get my coat on now and I'm gonna to go to the co-op so you can come with me if you want. And there's Lucy again. You stay in there, Lucy, hey, by the fire. You stay by the fire, sweetie, good girl. Okay. As soon as I get my coat on, it's like she knows. She changed her mind, she's come back in. <laughs> Come back in, baby. I don't blame you. It's cold out there. I had only opened the door and um, she was in the vestibule and then she went round the corner, round the corner, went um, into the window. You can't actually see her. I can see her clearly. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> it's all the frost on the air, grass. Do you know why I said round the corner? I meant back into the living room. Not sure of the temperature because I haven't checked, but at one o'clock this morning, no, two o'clock this morning, it was one degree Celsius. So it's cold. The gates are down at the level crossing for the um, trains. I'd usually go over, but it's a bit slippy, so I don't think I'll bother. So I'll just wait at the um, at the level crossing. I'm on St John's Road now, and then um, the train hopefully should be coming through, coming past soon. So um, God, even the tracks, it's all um, frosty. See the floor, and oh yeah, this train coming now.
Hopefully the gates will go up now. Yeah. <laughs> Bang on cue. It's quite slippy, so I've got to be careful. Look at the sun. Can you see how cold it is? Look at all the frost. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm busy this afternoon, so I can't go. But um, this is time now. But no, I've got time. Um, the beach would be lovely, wouldn't it? Look at that. See, I said it's slippy. It's like ice. The um, the what you call it? The pavements, the puddles are icy, and look at all the frost. You can see it beginning to thaw on of the tree, it's beginning to come down a bit because of the winter sunshine and the car across the road is just um, iced over yeah. So yeah, I love this kind of weather oh, I'm going to get dripped on, aren't I? Because <laughs> it's all thawing Look at that, it's beautiful, doesn't it? I love this kind of weather, although I'm a summer person, I love summer and autumn. Winter I'm not that keen on, but if it's frosty and snow, I want snow. Everyone knows I love snow. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the sun, I'll turn the phone and show you that sunshine. Look at that winter sun, look at that, it's not beautiful. It looks gorgeous. I'm tempted to just go to the co-op a bit later and just divert to the marina. <laughs> Should I? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I've, I've got time. A little bit of time anyway, so yeah. <laughs> so indecisive, aren't I? Right, so I'm nearly at the co-op. So what I'm going to do is my hands are cold. I'm going to put my gloves on for a start. So, I'm gone. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go to the co op now, so I may not show you the co op. Hiya, you alright? So, I'm not going to go in the uh, co op. I've just said that, haven't I? Um, I am going <laughs> I can't speak. I am going to go to the co-op, but I'm going to go to the marina first and I might do a little vlog in the co-op, I don't know, I'll see. But I think I want to see the marina, to see if it's all white. No, I'm being indecisive again. I'm going to double back, I'm going to go to the co-op, get my mum's flowers, I need bread and milk as well. Um, and then I'll keep it paused and then we'll go to the marina. Um, yeah, <laughs> very indecisive, aren't I? Frost. Like a big kid when it comes to frost and snow. Right, going in the co op. It's nice and warm in here anyway. That's good. all the flowers. I got these, I think. And um, for my mum's little memorial. Got a good selection of flowers anyway. So we've got roses. Um, but I like these, it's a little mixture. It's got a um, yeah. And I'll get me a uh, Sunday middle as well. Right, so we need I need to get bread and milk. Um, in here at the moment. I think it's only just opened. I know it opens at 10 on a Sunday, doesn't it? So, um, let's see what we're going on. You know, with a, with a good date on. I always get semi-skinned. So yeah, the 18th is a pretty good date. Well, I know it's a good date, but sometimes you can get a better date than that. I'm a stickler with dates. <laughs> Time and dates. So we get the time to get the 13th of January on that side. Right, so I think that's 
to I only needed I only needed the um my mum's flowers um the paper. I don't get the echo on a um Sunday because it's wafer thin and it's like one pound one pound ninety I think. Um so on a Sunday I don't bother getting the echo. Too expensive. So and there's nothing in it, literally nothing in it. But I always get the milk. So yeah, I get the I get the Liverpool Echo six days a week and just don't get it on a Sunday because I can't justify spending nearly two quid on wafer thin newspaper. I'll actually show you <laughs> show you what I mean. Um There's nothing in it, is there? Literally, just nothing in it. It's probably all adverts as well. So yeah, sorry to feel like I don't get you on a Sunday. Right, I'm done now. It kind of, it kind of made sense, didn't it, to get what I need, so then I can just go to the um, to the marina. Yeah, so I can go to the marina and um, and then straight home then. Just swapped arms. <laughs> it's, it's easier. It's <laughs> got a pack of skittles. Did you see that? I don't know if you can see that. What am I looking? Oh, I'm not even showing you, am I? Yeah, look, look at him. <laughs> you see that? Not in there for you. <laughs> that is so funny. It's still trying to pack up the um, Skittles with them sweets, the Skittle bag. I was too busy looking at it, um, so I hope, I know we've got a little bit of it on it, but I hope you saw the beginning. I've got to watch where I'm walking, it's that slippy. Yeah, the um, that was funny, that wasn't it? The, seagull trying to open the skittle bag so yeah do you remember the skittles um sweets show us it's cold got all the steam coming out my mouth <laughs> always said um full of hot air <laughs> cold air gosh yeah i should have put my other boots on actually you know the ones with a good grip um but i've got my black ones on again um So this is Brighton Road, um, where the co-op is, so I'm cutting through and I'll turn right and I'm on to South Road then um, towards the marina, so I've just got to go that way. Yeah, so this is, god yeah, 13 minutes, just over 13 minutes at the moment, 13.21. Um, But I think once, if I'd have gone to the marina, like I said, I was, was going to change my mind, didn't I? Um, I probably would have just wanted to go straight home. I've um, got things to do this afternoon. So now I've done, I've done a little vlog in the house. You've seen Lucy. You've had a oh, little walk and talk to the co-op. Um, and I'm going to show you the marina. So you don't often see me come from this way, so that's South Road ahead. You've still got the Christmas tree up. Should have took that down, shouldn't they? Um, but it looks pretty. So I'm on South Road. I won't have time to go to the beach, but I'll um, at least show you a bit of the marina anyway. Tony Almond's across the road. I love going in Tony Almond's. They've got some good stuff. And they've opened it, reopened it now on the um, South Road entrance because through Covid they closed it. So you have to go around the back, through the car park. Um, a little bit out of the way, but... Um, so now it's actually on South Road, which is good. Queen's Picture House. Weather screens. I 
And that used to buy flowers for my mum and dad's memorial. Uh, but these, I don't know whether I said at the beginning, but these flowers are for the grave for my mum's anniversary tomorrow. So I'll be putting them on tomorrow. God, I just managed to get across. The cars, I don't like crossing there because as you can see, they come around the corner. Um, and there's loads, the traffic seems really, really chocker, <laughs> if you like. There's a ship going past, I don't know whether you can see it, I can't zoom in. I'm going to do it this way. That, that's the thing when when you're on South Road and it just looks like it's so, so close, the ship. But then by the time you get down there, it's, it's a bit low. I wonder if the tide's in now because it's so close. But I haven't got time, I really haven't got time to go um, to the beach. Marine bar and kitchen. Wow, I can see the marina from here and it looks lovely. I wonder if it's like a milk pond again, like last time. I think the last time I went on a cold and frosty day, <laughs> um, it was gorgeous, absolutely lovely. I can see a few ripples though, but it still looks lovely, so I'll probably, once I've done a little video, I might take some photos. Looks, looks pretty. So there's quite a few people down here. Um, Again, dog walkers, lots of dog walkers. And there's a few joggers as well. Um, so yeah, it's looking lovely. The winter sunshine, look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? The frost is thawing out a little bit on the grass. <laughs> the adventure playground. The uh, the dunes are looking lovely and um, reflected on the uh, the lake. Uh, but you don't slip. <laughs> the um, the jetty is white, <laughs> absolutely white. Peaceful. It's so cold, I think. I didn't realise this kid, little kid with his head out of shit. I won't go on yet because, um, obviously, um, they're taking photos, so it's lovely. I'll walk past Jesse and see how white it is. Crunchy as well. Look at the reflections. I am so glad to take some photos here. So gorgeous. Dead slippy, go be careful. The reflections of the clouds is just beautiful. Look. Wow. So I'm clicking away as I'm as I'm recording this. It's beautiful. Just 
so picturesque, isn't it? The bee winter sunshine. Right, I think I think I better go, hadn't I? <laughs> Been out this little oh gosh, this is twenty one minutes and ten seconds at the moment. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Right. Thanks for watching this and <laughs> thanks for walking with me. And I'm glad you saw Lucy today. And got my mum's flowers for tomorrow so thanks for watching and have a lovely sunday see ya looks like snow doesn't it i'm loving it <laughs> thanks for watching see ya